Hi guys, I am going to be doing a video today doing the cheetah hack. It is such a fun and easy way to do makeup. Most of all, when you're in a rush and you might just be taking your palette and you want to take one brush, um, it's fast and easy, light coverage, but makes you feel and look like you spend a whole bunch of time on your face. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started with the cheetah hack using my fingers as my main tool. So same exact thing, I'm going to go in with my contour and go in right underneath you'll feel a hollow of your cheekbone I like to always contour my jawline I like to go from the tip of my ear and then sucker out okay. and then for your nose if you want to get daring I like to use my two little fingers here my ring fingers okay and then just go down your bridge of your nose and you just make sure it's nice and warm and melt it and then you just bring it down and me you know me I like to contour the tip of my nose so it's not nice and bright and we'll blend that later okay now I'm gonna go in with my under eye brightener which is aura and I'm gonna just place that it's like my whole mirror and stuff is moving here doesn't have to be me you can just place this wherever you usually put your under eye stuff there's no wrong or right way to do this this is just my routine I'm just showing you guys how I place my makeup you can do this first and then do the contour it doesn't matter because once you blend everything no one knows what you place anywhere first so it's preference so that is my under eye then I'm gonna go in with my main highlight of goddess and I'm just it's like painting by numbers I'm gonna apply this where I don't have makeup because me personally do not want to layer makeup on my face I just want to kind of have one skin like layer very light tribe look here okay so let me just double check I did my eyes right before because I didn't want to make this too long okay so now I did that and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add now my blush using my double decker compact everything is here contour under eye I love this color to make my eyes pop at the end main highlight I have illuminator and bronzer but first I'm gonna go in with the color Cindy and just place that where I want my blush. Oh no, this is pink grapefruit actually, guys. Pink grapefruit. Alright, that's that. I'm gonna go in and add a tiny little bit of my... Oh, I have a hair here, sorry. Here we go. I definitely like to add my little brightener. I don't like to have my eyes dark ever. I told you guys how obsessed I am with making that area nice and right that is also preference maybe some of you don't even like how it looks on me that's okay but um this makeup is very personalized so if this is something you want then you add that color to your palette to make your eyes give it that extra pop okay and then um i will go ahead and do my bronzer last this is definitely like moving little by little all right so here we go this is a very simple way to apply your makeup again I've done it mostly when I'm like in the car and I want to just take one brush to blend so I'm using my blush and bronzer brush to blend and I like to start with my lighter colors first 
and I'm just gonna mix that all in. Should've taken a picture, let me see. Brush, but I'm gonna try and just use this one for today. I'll go back in, in a little bit. See sometimes we get too close. Just in a little by little. Okay, okay. We'll figure that out. Okay. Here, make sure you don't forget to blend your jawline. Bring that down. Most of us that um. Most of all, the girls that don't have like dark necks, you have like wider necks, you want to make sure you bring the contour down. And here we can just start blending all of this. The contour goes up, guys, don't forget. I like to just wipe my brush in case the brush gets a little too crazy there. Oh my god, this is definitely moving. Is it happening like in my own, in front of my own eyes and I don't know what it's... Oh my god, there it goes again! What the heck? Okay. On my nose, I like to... Leave that for last. And then here, I'm just gonna try and bring that down without trying to really mess with the line that I put there with highlight. So I'm squeezing the brush to have more control since the lines on my nose are bent. Soccer and do not disturb when I'm doing this. Let's see how that um, came out. Okay, so as I was do saying, you finish blending. I'm gonna flip my brush over and I'm gonna add my um, bronzer. <coughs> Be careful with bronzer, it is very creamy. So I like to put it right above like my eyebrow area, the highest peaks of your face. So kind of like where the sun would hit you normally if you were to get like a cute sun kiss. And I like to go ahead and put it right around here, swirling it. I do bring it down my neck here. And it kind of just ties everything in. And then I just kind of like move that brush around the rest of my face. So I say a little bit of bronzer and then I kind of start adding to it. again my pearl illuminator and I'm gonna just add that it's been like I have so many pretty ones but I always tend to go back to pearl but they're all really cute
So you obviously don't want to put illuminator on areas you don't want to make pop, right? So I just put it on the tip line of my nose. Maybe I shouldn't, but I just love the little grill. Make sure that you blend that in nicely. I'm going to go in now. Everything is still in one palette, so I've used my contour under eye linen to make my eyes pop bronzer main highlight my illuminator and when i go to this side i go ahead and i add my lip conditioner because my lips are dry and then i'm gonna go in with the color pink grapefruit again as well it's so crazy i'm so against using fingers um for my makeup It is what it is. I also have, um, I have two lip and cheeks. I have eyeshadows. I have my eyebrows here, which is Trust, another beautiful illuminator. My brow bone color that I love to add up here. I use this as an eyeshadow and a brow bone. There it goes, it's so pretty. Okay, and then I go ahead and I set it with setting spray. I add a little bit. And then I just dab it, or you can just let it sit. This makes your makeup last longer throughout the day. And I am done. I hope you guys like the video and that it's um, helpful and perfect on the go look for your car or like at the office or whatever you want. I like to do different things with my makeup, so it's perfect for me. So girls, if you want to get color match, send me a selfie. There is no right or wrong way to do this. I am just showing you my little uh, makeup routine. Uh, you guys are your own bosses when it comes to your makeup, so you do what you like. Um, all you need from me is a little help picking colors, and then you're on your own if you like, or it can help you through the whole process. So let me know if you're interested. Have a beautiful Friday if I post this video today. All right, thank you guys, Mwah. bye.